If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have a pretty exciting video. We have Wildcard Wednesday. We have some pretty good flashbacks as well as some big news. Special stream tomorrow. I'll get into all that as we do get through the video. Now, if you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know which of these flashbacks is your favorite one, as well as let me know if you guys are excited. For tomorrow, when I announce this, the stuff tomorrow, right? Let me know also throughout the video what's your favorite one and which one are you expecting. Now, if you guys need any coins, head on down below, guys. Super cheap coins on my sponsor. Make sure to pick them up so you guys can go ahead and pick up some players for your God Squad. Now, we do have the flashbacks in game, as you guys see here by the mission. We have AJ Bouye, Cam Newton, Ryan Tannehill, CJ Mosley, and Micah Hyde. So make sure you guys do go ahead and play your Wild Card Wednesday solos. So you can go ahead and pick up your players, of course. So it's the flashbacks right here. Make sure you're playing them because, of course, as you do get through, you do end up getting your fantasy packs for your free player. I chose Sertain as my free player. Now, 20 out of 40 right now. When you get to 40, again, you're going to get another free uh, top tier player from this promo. Now, if you had happened to miss like week one or week three or something, make sure you play this week because that will catch you up for tier four. So you're going to be a little bit behind, but make sure you are keeping up with it. The solos take no joke, like under five to six minutes. They're super fast. I get a sack this drive. I literally just can do mid blitz, uh, get two tackles. That's probably the hardest one, actually. Uh, don't allow more than three complete passes, mid blitz, score passing touchdown, complete five passes, level sale, flat, 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 touchdown. It's very simple. Cam Newton score, passing touchdown, oh, streak. And then AJ Bouye intercept the pass to Stroud. That's going to be one of the harder ones unless you can do well, this. Oh, I'm completing the following. So don't allow a touchdown. That makes it a ton, a, a whole lot easier, guys. Now, again, I never recommend actually doing the flashback rerolls in the store for these cards. Make sure you do go to the auction block and actually check them out. Now, guys, let me talk about tomorrow's special stream first before I go show you the stats of these cards. So tomorrow's special stream, RG did say there's we have an exciting content stream tomorrow. I believe there are, there will, they will be. They're pre-revealing the Team Diamond card. So, Team Diamond promo is going to be coming Friday. Um, going to be exciting. Team Diamonds, guys, like I said, if you guys want to know, it'll be right over here in sets. You will see it in the Team Affinity slot, more than likely right next to this. And then left of Team Builders, will say Team Diamonds. Now, it'll be very similar to this. All 32 teams are going to get one upgrade, more than likely, unless they do defense and offense, which I don't think they're going to do. But Team Diamonds. And then, of course, there will probably be a Master. Now, this is going to be super cool. Now, I'm a Giants fan. Who would I like to see as a Team Diamond? Now, what overall do you guys think for Team Diamonds? I'm suspecting 90 or 91. Now, I prefer 91 so they'd all be super competitive, of course, like the Team of the Week heroes. If they do 90s, they're going to be good, but they're still going to be behind overall in terms of the rest of the game. Ready of Legend 93, right? I'm hoping 91, 92-ish. But who would I want as a Giants fan for myself personally, guys? I would like a Victor Cruz. First and foremost, Victor Cruz is going to be the guy I'd like. Uh, Eli Manning, if he got Hot Rod Master, potentially. Not sure, though, but we're thinking even further back. I, do, I know they won't give Lawrence Taylor a card. Maybe a Barber, like a Tiki Barber, but I really, I want a Victor Cruz card. I would love Victor Cruz, maybe a Plaxico Burris. Both those cards would be really good in terms of how this Madden plays. Victor Cruz for his route running, Plaxico for his height, and just physicality. I don't really know who else I'd really, really like in terms of, you know, the Giants team, but Victor Cruz would definitely be a super fun one. Eli Manning, of course, if they gave him Hot Route Master, which he'd still be really slow, but Hot Route Master may counteract that, right? But... That's about that. I mean, expect that tomorrow probably be the 10:30 stream, unless for whatever reason he announces he's gonna do it at night. But I do think it'll be the morning stream for the Team Diamond reveal. So stay tuned tomorrow morning. Be here. Turn on those noti bells so you guys can't get updated around 10:30. And of course, guys, let's head on over and check out these new players and some of their stats. There's some pretty good ones here. I mean, the Cam Newton is fun. I always love when they put him in a Panthers jersey. It just if they put him in a uh, Patriots jersey, I just don't like it. I mean, he is a Panther, right? That's how I view him. He will always be a Panther in my head. That that was his glory days, right? His MVPS season. It's gonna be on the Panthers. So I'm excited. I'm excited when they I'm excited like it's like RG3 when they keep when they give a, a veteran card, but they don't put him in a in a Washington football team jersey. When they don't do that, it, re it really just ticks me off. I like to see him in that jersey. So they're 90 overalls. We got Bouye as the 90. And then I guess the other ones will be one step below, or they're just not up yet. They're one step below. Alright, they're gonna be okay, they're gonna be 89s. Okay, so let's start with the 89s here. Wow, they got they're already down there in price. Ryan Tannehill is going to be one of the few. He is a quarterback. He does not get Hot Route Master. So that is going to hurt him in terms of his outlook of, you know, being usable. But not a bad card. 83 speed. That's a usable speed. 89 throw power. Good throw power. 86 short. 87 medium. 86 deep. 87 throw under pressure. 86 throw on the run. And 88 play action. This card's actually really well-rounded. 
If you're on a Dolphins themed team or Titans themed team, he's going to be a really, really good card. Um, overall, as a meta quarterback, he will not be surpassing Zach Wilson or Daniel Jones, purely off speed and gunslinger. You know, either way, right? If you're going to, if you're comparing him to Daniel Jones, I'd rather have Daniel Jones in terms of speed and everything else is very similar. And if you're comparing in terms of abilities, Zach Wilson takes the cake as the meta gunslinger QB right now, right? So otherwise, Ryan Tannehill is not exactly the most usable guy, but he isn't, he's not like not usable. You know what I mean? I should, I should restate that. He's not meta, but he is usable. CJ Mosley, I already know he's trash. 83 speed. That's horrendous. I don't know how they ever think it's okay to release a linebacker at any point in the game with less speed than like, there's probably a lineman with close speed to him at this point. Like, it's just, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, Jack Youngblood's like that speed and Jack Youngblood doesn't have to be in his own. 87 Excel is good, but the speed is just horrible. 80 strength is decent. 89 tackle is really good. 87 play rec is good. 87 block shed is really good and 88 hit power, but 78 zone. So he can't play zone. He can't run, so he's essentially, you want to put him on the edge, right? I mean, I don't know what else to do. You put him outside linebacker off the edge. I really don't know what else to do with him. Does he have some pass rush or something you can do with him? Like 90 impact blocking. This card's just trash. I don't know I don't know why they think that giving a CJ Mosley cards like this is ever a good idea. Like, he can't pass rush right now. Obviously, he's a, linebacker. he's a middle linebacker. He can't play zone. He can't really, he's not going to catch too much considering he's not going to play zones that well. Um, he is six foot two. I guess that helps. These cards are just trash. I hate when they release CJ Mosley cards. I guess on a theme team, I mean, enjoy it for yourselves. But I'm saying, like, in terms of a regular Madden player, like, not even. They just don't make him good. I don't mind the guy. Uh, Micah Hyde, he actually looks a lot better. 87 speed, 89 XL. Looks very similar to the Darnell Savage, you know, his uh, his his co teammate on the other end. But 80 tackle, 87 play rec, 88 pursuit, 84 man, 91 zone. This card's actually really good. Powered up. With strat cards and stuff, he'll have an 88 speed, 90 excel with above 90 zone with six foot height and 73 catching. That's pretty solid. He's actually a really, really good card. Uh, 85 change of direction. I would not mind a Micah Hyde card for free. Like, he's not bad. You know what I mean? Like he's not, he's not, he's not going to be meta, but getting a night, whenever you get thresholds like that, you're automatically usable. Not to mention the fact that you're also getting some pretty good speed and everything else. We got Cam Newton up next. Now this card, people were actually really excited for. 86 speed is good enough, right? Like, that's in that Daniel Jones S territory. We're going to have an 87 speed, which puts him really just behind the uh, bright tie with Kyler Murray and right behind the Lamar Jackson for fast QB in the game. That's fine. 92 throw power powered up. Going to be probably the highest, if not one of the highest throw powers in the game. So, again, no gunslinger, but still really, really good. 86 short, 85 medium with powered up, and 87 deep accuracy. 81 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 88 play action. Going to be a super good, well-rounded quarterback again with speed. Now, the only thing that's going to hurt him, I mean, he's 245, 6'5", right? So, I'm not sure how it works with quarterbacks in next gen in terms of weight, height, and fumbling. But if, let's see his carry. His carry is 84. So, if next gen respects his carrying height and weight, he could be kind of a decently good bowling ball at quarterback. I'd have to test him out first to really know the extent of that. If you guys want to test out any players, house rules isn't the worst spot to do so, considering they're quick games. You can get in and out of them, and they really don't hurt your record. But not bad. He's gonna be he's gonna be fun to play with at least. 80 change of direction, 84 stiff, 84 juke, 88 trucking. I mean the card's fun. The card's definitely gonna be a fun card. It's just a matter of does he fumble crazy? Because like in, Cam Newton hasn't been good in Madden in years, and the reason isn't because he's not good or whatever he can't throw or whatever. It's simply because the beauty of a Cam Newton card, like they they don't boost his attributes in terms of passing. Like his attributes are juiced at ball carrying, like trucking stiff arm. Like he's supposed to be a guy that like back in older Madden's could truck you or juke you and break a tackle and stuff. Cam Newton in, in Kerm in the last few Maddens, literally he gets touched and he just fumbles because that's they made they coded it so quarterbacks just fumble instantly. So if they can change that and use his weight to his advantage, he'd be fun. AJ Bouye is the highest one of the bunch. 88 speed does kind of hurt him. I mean, Marlon Humphrey, Superstar MVP, week one release was 88 speed powered up. But um 88 speed's kind of bad. I mean, I certain's already 91. Like you would have wanted something in that range, more or less. But he will get an 89 speed powered up in 91 Excel. So maybe for free, he'd be usable. Not, not, not. Oh, God, no, this card's horrible. 90 jumping, 88 play rec, 87 man, 90 zone, 85 press. So he doesn't get any threshold besides zone, and he's 88 speed. So the only way this card would have been usable is if he got the man zone press and play rec threshold. He does not get that. He's six foot tall, though, which does help. Six, uh, seven to catching. 87 change of direction. Does he at least get some blocks? 67 blocks. This card's garbage, in my opinion. And like, it's usable, but in my opinion, like, if you're going to take a free as the 90 overall, the best one of the bunch, it's garbage. It's not worth the 90 overall. He literally, I wouldn't take him. If you get a free one, of course, like, if you had to pick a free one from this bunch, you're probably going hide. Hey, I mean, you're probably, you're probably just going hide because, I mean, you don't want to take Cam Newton, right? Because he's got, he's in a position that's not really easy to, to stick with all year. But that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you're new, sub to the channel. Turn on that uh, notification bell, and of course, comment down below. Let me know which is your favorite from the bunch. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.